Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and today is Wednesday. I wanted to share some items that I got um, this week. Some of it was stuff that got mailed to me last week. Some of it was stuff that I went and picked up. And I also have more things coming in. So I'll do a few more hauls. Um, I've been watching a lot of people. Y'all know that. I got another order coming in thanks to Miss Shaughnessy. It is something that I placed before, but one of them was a fragrance that she talked about. I've been watching a lot of the videos on a lot of the new stuff. And although I have some new lip items, I know that Laneige has an eggnog lip balm. I'm contemplating on whether or not I want to try that or not. If I see it in store, I'll put it on my hand and see if I like the scent or whatever. Because I've basically picked up a lot of the lip balms that I've wanted. And I know I don't need any more. I don't even need the ones that I managed to pick up. Bath and Body Works has some new scents. We know that I don't like the platinum. To me, it really literally smells like perfumed black pepper. I even went back um, messing with the lotion and the cream, so that's a no-go for me. However, I do know that people are talking about a new one, Pretty in Pink. I wish and hope that it would be something like the Peony fragrance that they had, not the one that's out now. But they had one years ago that came out with that white chocolate mocha type one that was called Pink Peony Cream. And then they had a candle at one point, I think that was something sweet peony or sugared peony. I'm looking for a fragrance like that. And I know that somebody said they have a new lavender fragrance. I'm very curious about it, but I will say this. If it doesn't smell like marshmallow magic, then I'm not going to be interested. That's what I want. They made a pocket back one time in their B series. It was B-E. Like, I don't know if it was B kind be good it was be something and there was a lavender honey type scent in this hand gel and everybody loved it well then they came out with the lavender fragrance that they came out with and it wasn't the same so i am looking for something along the lines of this marshmallow magic and y'all know what y'all know how old this is those of y'all that know bath and body works i need to open this up and see if it's still any good because I remember I had two or three of these um, when I was working at a certain place back in maybe 2018 2017 so I do hope these are still good because I really favor this marshmallow magic and my full tube went bad so on to what I got we're gonna start with Bath and Body Works so you give me this big old bag Bath and Body Works is funny. Y'all know sometimes they don't have any bags they give you something clear this big bag contains one little bitty tiny thing and I actually went out there being nosy when I spotted this and I was looking to see if they had some of the new pocket bags because they have a fall one that I'm interested in. But I saw this and what was this? Maybe $6 and some change. Yeah, this was very cute. I'll probably try to get another one of these if I can. I didn't put anything in here, but I think I have a pocket back near that I can try to put in here just to see how it looks, y'all. Because this one is almost empty. And this is the Vanilla Icicles, I think it's called. I used this at work um, Friday. And I was wondering why it smelled funny. Because I thought that I had the um, chai one. The toasted vanilla chai, if I'm saying that right. And I thought this smelled off. I didn't even know that this was in this fragrance. So it is almost used up. I don't even know if I got this on here right. But I just thought it was a cute little thing. So I had a pickup order, I think, yes, from sephora and i understand that this marshmallow fragrance is coming out in full size i might go ahead and get it you get the regular butter you get the salted caramel one and then you get the marshmallow one and i was trying to see because the correct names are here somewhere so there you go toasted marshmallow they're shimmering and then you have salted caramel and then you have the regular one and I like these. I didn't think they were all that great. Like, I didn't hate them, but compared to my other butters, I just like them. But I did use the original up. I do still have the cinnamon one and the vanilla one. So, nothing against them. I just got so carried away with my Clinique Unscented and that Kiehl's butter. Plus, y'all, I have a ton of butter. And y'all know how it is for those of us that have a ton of stuff. But it is nice that these are little. Now, I don't know if the salted caramel one is in full size or not um i just saw somebody's page after i ordered this and was online looking for information on it that said that the marshmallow one is in full size and it showed it in their store so that was all that i got in the way of sephora 
And then I placed a Tatcha order. This was um, one of the lip products that I wanted. So with this, you got to pick a few samples, um, which I got the rice wash, and it comes with this card. I got the Camilla cleansing oil, and I think I got a lip shade sample. So I might have to try these out when I see them. And this is in Plum Blossom. So Tatcha packages are stuff up really nice. You get this nice card and you get a note in there. And this is what I got. And I've already been into both of these guys. So I'm going to try to open these up for you. I can go ahead and get rid of the boxes now. But I like how this one comes. It comes so that, let's see here. It gets pulled out. And this is that one with the little gold flakes in it. So I've already been using this and the gold flakes are not like it didn't come off on my finger or anything like that. But they are down beneath the surface. So I don't think they're at the very bottom. I do think though they are beneath the surface. So I don't know if I have to get all the way down to get to those. But Tatcha products feel really, really nice on the lips. And like I said, I've been into both of these. And the one that I really wanted because they were selling out of it, because y'all know I have the plum one and the wisteria one or the purple one and the mauve one. So this one right here was the sunset. I don't know if that's Kiku, but I love the way that this looked and it is an orange shade. And again, like I said, I've been into this one too. I haven't used that spatula. You can take the spatula off and use it, but since nobody's using this but me, and I really do like this a lot. So that's why I said I don't really need any more lip products. Plus the ones that I have will last me for a long time. Because even though these pots are small. I mean if I use just one pot every day. Like if I just had one and I think I was using it every day. It would probably last me for a year. It would be the kind of thing where I could just go ahead and buy another one. Now... I think the last thing that I have as far as what I got that I picked up. Oh, yeah, I forget. They keep giving me this little oil right here, and I've already got a big one. So I might take this little one and take it to work. I just feel like this would work on my hair better if it was relaxed, but I do really like it. So as you know, Touchland came out with some new sanitizers, and I was curious about the caramel. I didn't want to get two, and when I placed my order with Ulta, I saw that they had a Spice Pumpkin Teeny one too, so I went ahead and got it. So if I don't like one, I will just use that one first, but these are nice. I love the way that these feel. They don't dry your hands out, and they dry really fast. It's a very fine mist. My favorite one of all time out of all of the ones that I've tried is still the Vanilla Blossom. I went right through two of those, and I have another one that is unopened just like this. But these were very nice, and y'all know I had to try the Karma one, so I'll be giving these a try. They make holders for these, but for me, I don't see the point. And I think that was all that I got. Now, the last thing I want to share with y'all is y'all know I did a post. I have been interested in a Brewmate tumbler, right? Like I need to be. So I found this tumbler, and when I posted it, I went back in and edited it because I didn't find it as in I was looking forward to order it, and I found it. It was so funny. We were all at work talking about brewmate tumblers, and I think last week or the week before, guys, I walked past a certain spot to go to my job, and I've been seeing a brewmate box. Never gave it a second thought. It was empty, and I'm thinking, who took, you know, and put that box there? Did they throw it out the window? Yada, yada. Well, Monday morning, this Monday, it was raining, and I had my umbrella, and I happened to have been walking up the street. This cup had been there, guys, the whole time. I just hadn't seen it. It was up against the fence in its bag. It was in a brewmate bag. So when I seen the bag, I'm thinking, uh, I wonder what's in there. And I took the, the end of my little umbrella and started poking. Because, you know, I'm thinking anything could be in there. First thing I'm thinking, it's laying in the grass. It's wet. It could be some bugs, a squirrel, anything in there. Well, when I poked it, I saw this right here. All that I saw was like the dark and the green. And I said, oh, there's a cup in there. Somebody put their cup in there. So I went ahead and was like scooting the bag with my foot trying to kick it out just to see because it was rainy. It was still wet. And I took a picture, a final picture up there, I think, by the restaurant that I passed by once I got to where I could be still. Well, when I looked at it and I saw that the paper was still on there. And on the inside was this little thing right here. And I saw, oh, my God, this is a brand new cup. But how did it get here? 
And here's the thing. Because it has ascension on it, that means that this was a work gift. I used to work for St. Mary's Hospital here at Regina Continuing Care, and we were covered by ascension. Like everything, I don't know how that works, if they were the parent company or the managing company or what that has or what it entails. But like when we would get our cell phones or if there was a big party or a big bonus, it would always say from Ascension. So that means that this is a work gift and I used to work for them. But I was like, how did it get to where it was? But guys, when I tell you, I was about to place a brumade order and I still am. I had to separate my order though because one of the tumblers that I was looking for sold out on me. It was that turmeric one. I couldn't decide what color and I do want another one. But if you know the story on brumate, y'all, it is 100% leak proof. It, this one doesn't have a straw. They do have some that has a straw, but this one is called the brumate move. And I'm gonna try to show you, this was a brand new cup that I found. Now when I brought it home, I took it all apart and washed it in hot water because even though I found it and it's brand new, sometimes I'm still leery about using cups right away, so I'll probably wash it again, but this comes off, this thing right here. And this right here, you can't open it up unless I think you put this down or up. Okay, you put that up. So if you are worried about somebody coming to bother your cup, they can't just open up your cup because it locks. You could put a straw in there if you wanted to, but the cup locks, and I do love that um, once I started reading about these cups. So this is the um, sticker that tells you how to operate the cup. So I will eventually take this off when I rewash it again because I actually wash it in hot water just like it is. But I did not have the dishwashing liquid that I wanted. I had my Dawn, but I wanted a disinfecting one. But these cups are 100% leak proof. Now, this one again is a 35 ounce one. And it comes with this. So I'm still going to get, I was going to get their can cooler trio. I may or I may not. I like the Yeti one, but their can cooler trio, like the Yeti one wraps around the can. Their can cooler trio can hold a 12 ounce or a 16 ounce standard. It has a lid for you to also use it as a cup. So I'm kind of debating on what I want to do there, but I do want their era tumbler and they have a straw cover for that tumbler. Now, I do want to say this because a lot of these cups are being compared to Stanley. And the funny thing is, I'm learning that there's more of these cups. Now, I know about HydroFlow because I have a HydroFlow. I've learned about Hydro Flask, which I did not know existed. Um, there's a few more. There's a lot of them. The ones that I've learned about since all of this was the Brewmate. And I think... There's one called Coldest, and I like that one. It's like a water bottle, but it comes in different prints and things like that. So the comparison between these two is, everybody knows that when you turn a Stanley upside down or if it falls over, it leaks. However, I'm going to say you could like either one of these cups. Don't let the fact that one is leak proof and one leaks deter you. I would say look at it this way. If you are someone who there's no kids around, you rarely drop your cup, you always have somewhere to keep your cup secured, then this could be the cup for you. There's no reason not to get a Stanley if you like Stanley. If you don't have to worry about your cup tipping over, if you don't have to worry about someone knocking your cup over, your cup is always upright, your cup is always secured, then by all means, this is a cup for you. In my case, I work, y'all know in healthcare, you got residents that will come up to the cart because we're not supposed to have anything on the carts. More and more I have jobs that are like that because I work in Alzheimer's. But sometimes you forget and sometimes a cup can fall off because y'all know that I had that, um, my purple oil slick cup that fell off the cart that I was mad about because I cracked it. I don't know how these are with a drop test. I have dropped a few of my Stanleys a couple of times or the one. Nothing happened to it but I haven't had one fall off the cart and I haven't used this yet, but I will say this. If you work in healthcare or you're a teacher, you're in a daycare, you're someone where your cup does need to be secured because it could be knocked over or you don't want a little child to be able to open up your cup or a resident to be able to open up your cup, then this is the cup for you. 
I like this cup. I just got introduced to this cup. I think the last few weeks I've been doing research and looking because I like the way that the Era Cup looks. I like the design of it. I like that it's sleek. I like that it has a straw cover. And that's another good thing about those cups. They have a straw cover. Um, so I am interested in the Era Tumbler 40 ounce. I just haven't decided what color I'm going to get except for the turmeric one that I ordered. And then I'm going to order a coffee cup. So when I get those, I'll share those with you. But if you're like me and you are brewmate curious and you have people around or you have to watch your cup, because I'll tell you something, even though we're not supposed to have things on the med card, we get thirsty, especially when you work 12 hour shifts or you're in one of those kind of healthcare jobs where you're running around, you need a drink. I can shove this in the med card. Yes, we're not supposed to. And we hear all kinds of stories about when state comes. But this is something that I could shove in, you know, the cart in an area where no medicine is. It could be like this. It could be upside down. It would be no problem. I could put my hot beverage, my cold beverage, and I could put this in my bag. It doesn't have to be upright. So I do like that about these cups, especially this one that does not have a straw. It's a flat secured lid. So I really do like that. And I think I'm going to be still after I place my order with them. But I did want to share that with you. I found this cup outside. It doesn't have much going on. I think this is because of me poking my umbrella there. And like I said, I had slid it with my foot against the concrete before I realized what it was trying to get it out of the bag. So other than that, the cup is basically flawless, just that one little thing, and it's not even scratched. So, And the color of this is called mist, if I didn't say that. They have a lot of colors in these. They have a lot of short cups, tall cups. And like I said, they have a can insulator that can also be used as a cold cup. And their um, cooler is pretty cool. I was looking at their cooler. It has a, a section in there for ice and your cold drinks. It has a section in there for a pre-made drink, like if you pre-make lemonade or tea with a spigot so everybody can get a serving. And then it has a bottle opener made into the lid. I don't know how much it is, but it comes in a lot of colors and it comes in pink. So I just thought I would share this with you because I was very happy to have found this cup. I can't believe that. It was so odd that we were just talking about these and then I look up and I find one of all things. So I will pull this apart, wash it again. I'm looking for my bleach alternative Dawn and I might take just a little tablespoon or so of bleach and put it in there and then I'll pull these stickers and things off of here and then I will go ahead and utilize this cup. But I feel lucky. That I found this y'all brand new and I'm trying to figure out how it got where I found it at because there's no hospital out there anywhere and I don't know if somebody tossed it out of a car if somebody had it in something because there was a box like I had been walking past this box for the past few weekends not even knowing and this was before it was raining all the while this cup was there and it was in a brewmate bag I didn't get the bag and bring it with me because I didn't know what all was on there I just took the cup shoved it in my bag got up to the restaurant did a picture on instagram and then bought it home and soaked it in um dawn so that was it i just wanted to share that i wish you all a great day i got some things coming um i know all of y'all been talking about that silk santal so i'm gonna try that out We'll see how I like it. I heard all the buzz about the, the websites being shut down. I got mine from Sephora, but I didn't get a big bottle. I think that's what the ruckus was for. I got a little bitty bottle, the whatever the little $32 size is. But I know that that $100 bottle was sold out, and that's probably where people were encountering problems. So we're going to try it out, and if I don't like it, I can take it back. But that was it, y'all. I wish you all a fantastic Thursday, and until the next time, everyone have a fantastic evening.